boom, right there. Hold it, hold it right there for right now. What's going on everybody? What's going on everybody? I want you to let me know if you can if you can hear me. I want you to let me know if you can hear me, if you can hear me loud and clear. Going on, fam. What's going on, fam? All right. What's going on, fam? What's going on, fam? All right. You see that like that right there? Make sure you keep it just like that, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. You see that? All right, fam. Here I come. I'm, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I just had to make sure this thing was good. What's going on, fam? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Microphone check one two one two. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Yeah, keep it just like that. Yeah, I know I got an echo because I'm, I'm on my phone right now. Yo, 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 what's crack a lacking? All righty. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? This shit, main man, L Boogie. You know I'm blessing the Lord. How the favorite excited about Jesus, excited about the word of God. My cup is running over and I still want some more. How about you? And so, uh, I want y'all to go to my uh, Instagram channel. And once you go to my Instagram channel, I want you to search for, um, who is that who got this shirt? Jada Trucking Empire. Jada Trucking Empire. I want you to search for that. And once you search for uh, Jada Trucking Empire, what I want you to do is there's gonna be there's gonna be a um, uh, he's gonna have shirts for sale. And this shirt right here, get get rich with that trucking. This is what I got from Jada Trucking Empire. So y'all can go to his website and y'all can get the shirt. I mean, he's a, he's a dump truck driver. Uh, he's an owner-operator, and he's doing the doggone thing. So I want you to make sure that you do that, okay? Uh, so I'm not, I don't want to take up a lot of your time tonight, and so I want to just hop right into it and let you know, give you some... Okay. Yeah, so I want to give you some tips and stuff on how you can become... How you can make more money here at Landstar? Uh, how you can be uh, uh, make more money as an owner operator or just a business owner? Period. I want to let you know. I want to give you some tips on how you can do that and how you can make yourself more uh, profitable when it comes to um, uh, being a Landstar BCO or owner operator. So first things first, and also at the end of the video. For all, how many Landstar BCOs we got on here? How many? The, uh, not not just not investors, not uh, not owner operators. How many Landstar BCOs do we have on on the on the live right now? I want you to raise your hand, put something up there. Let me know uh, if you're a BCO. Let me know if you're a BCO. Because at the end of this video, I'm about to give you some agents. So let me know if. Uh, if you're a Landstar BCO, raise your hand. Also, give me a thumbs up. Give me, give me a thumbs up on the video. 
Alright. Nathan Galloway. You know what? Let me go through here and shout some people out. Um, see what's going on. Santos Perez. El Boogie. What's good, bro? Hey, you know, I'm just uh, marinating and modulating, uh, keep, uh, chilling in the cut like peroxide, not trying to get infected, you know? Midwest Trucker. Trucker. What up, Boogie? Checking in from Chicago. What's going on, Midwest Trucker? I heard that. Derek Smith. What's going on? You good? Nathan Galloway, what's up? Patrick Champion, what's going on? Destiny Ranch. Uh, Tony Sanders. Jake from State Farm. Dwayne A Maker. Hey, what's crack a lacking? Nick, Nicky Nick, Travis Nichols, Papa Bell. What's going on, Mr. Davis? Denarius Hunt, what's going on? So let me go on, on here. I'm finna, I'm finna tell you how you can make some more money here in that store. These, uh, this right here, this information that I'm about to share with you, it's gonna be so simple, and I'm gonna help you out as best as I can. But it's, it's so simple, you're gonna take some of the most natural things that you can take, and you're gonna implement these things into your daily life. Okay. So number one, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, I want to deal with this first. Some of the common misconceptions that I've been hearing over the last two or three weeks is that, man, I need me an agent that lives close to me. I need me an agent that that uh, that lives in my state or lives in my city. And uh, that's a misconception right there. You do not need an agent. If you're, if you're a BCO owner operator, you do not need an agent that lives in your city or that lives in your state. Like I live in the Atlanta area. I don't need, I live in Georgia. I don't, I don't need somebody who lives in Georgia to get me a load from me. Uh, I don't live in, I, like, I work with uh, GAD a lot. I, 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 I always tell people, hey, before you even think about, I always tell people, before you even think about becoming an owner-operator, make sure you call GAD. Make sure you call the crossing agency so so that you can get on their, um, so that you can get on their board, so that you, so that, so they can give you information. And, uh, you know, when them loads pop up and stuff like that, before they even put them on the board, guess what? They emailing people. And so make sure, make sure you call them before, before. Before you don't call anybody else, make sure you call them before you put in your application. Make sure you call them before so that they can add you to their domicile. Okay? So you don't have to do that, but guess what? At the end of the day, when people call and be like, hey man, I think I'm about to call them now. I've been, did you call them before? No, I've been over here two months, can't figure out why I can't do this, can't do that. Well, I tell them, you should have called before, man. Call before. That way they can put you on a domicile. And let's say, like, if they. You know, people have rates and people have different things that pop up all the time. They got loads. Sometimes, you know, different agents and stuff have loads that pop up, and it may be a load that's like uh, a month long. And with them having a load that's a that's like a month long or during peak season or something like that, you know, they might have picked up another account or something to end out the rest of the year or finish out the rest of the year or start the beginning of the year or something like that or a summertime load or something. Or, you know, whatever it may be, they may have that, and while they have that, um, they may... Um, they may put you on, and guess what? Now, since you're on their domicile, you get the email first. Say, hey, look, we just had a low opening uh, going from, let's say, Atlanta to Jacksonville. And if they got something going from Atlanta to Jacksonville, you stay in Jacksonville. Guess what? That's a win-win situation for you. You see what I'm saying? Now you ain't got to be out over the road all the time. Okay? So I want to tell people. Uh, I want to tell people that first of all. So your agent does not have to stay in your. Your agent, uh, like the, the crossing agency, they're in Gaston, Alabama. Uh, the crossing agency is in Gaston, Alabama. But I stay in Georgia. And so I don't need the, I don't need them to be right here in my backyard. I don't need them to be right here for them to be able to get me a load. I've taken loads from people that, that were from Canada. I've taken loads from people. Like I was taking a I was on a run for a particular, uh, for about a couple of months. And I was dealing with this dude. He lives in California. And the dude that was living in California, he was getting me loads, uh, and I was in Georgia. Okay, so he had accounts over here. So no matter what, no matter where uh, your agents are at, guess what? Uh, they can get you a load no matter where you're at. You just got to make sure you make the right connections, make uh, start building those relationships. Okay. So uh, number two, uh, that leads me into my next thing: relationships. Okay, uh, a relationship will get you more than what the board would get you any day of the week. I'm gonna say that again. Let me write it down. You see, I just went and got this thing right here. See that? I just went and got this today. 
So, let's go over this right here. Let's write relationships. Everybody say it with me. Relationships. Boom! Relationships will get you more than the load board will get you any day. So, let me see. I'm going to put load board down here. Load board. So, relationships is greater. No, that's less than. Let's see. So, relationships is, relationships are greater than a load board, okay? So, let me tell you something. If I done built a relationship with a particular agent, and let's say uh, I've been moving freight for them, I'm on, I'm on time, I got great, uh, I have great um, uh, communication with this particular agent and everything, guess what? That agent is going to start calling me because they know I can get the load there on time. I'm not going to complain. I'm not hitting stuff. I'm not breaking down. You know, they, I'm determined. I'm dedicated. I'm dependable. Okay? So just like uh, Fox 5, dedicated, determined, dependable. You know? <laughs> and so your relationship will get you far more than the load board will get you because I've had loads before and um, I know uh, I've had loads before where the agent called me and said, hey, look, Larry, just got this load right here. Man, this 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 load is paying so much money. Let's say like if a load is paying like four thousand dollars. Hey Larry, just got a load paying four thousand dollars, going from, let's say, uh, going from Charlotte to Dallas, Texas, or something. You know, and so if they, if the load is paying four thousand, guess what? It ain't even hit the board yet. I just got that. I just got that load right there. Why? Simply because of a relationship. Because I built up a relationship with an individual. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? Another relationship, even if it's not an agent-to-agent -agent relationship, that's why you can't be stuck up when it comes to the truck stops and when it comes to being with uh, uh, when it be, when it comes to being out here on the road. You can't be stuck up. You got to be able to talk to drivers. Every one of the every one of the contacts that I'm about to give you tonight, guess what? I'm giving them to you because somebody gave those same contacts to me. I was sitting in Fort Hood one night. And I was talking to a particular agent, and this agent said, hey, man, I've been doing this for 25 years. I was like, what? He said, yeah, I've been doing this for 25 years. So after he told me he had been doing this for 25 years, I said, man, I know you got some great content. He said, yeah, man, I got great contacts, but, you know, I don't have the contacts that I used to have, you know, but I still have contacts, um, and I still have people that, that I just reach out to just weekly. And they let me know, hey, look, got a load right here, got a load right here. And this dude right here, he told me, he the one who, um, who told me about, this is the dude who told me about, um, he told me about, bada boom, bada boom. What is that? A triangle. To me, what we're going to call it tonight is, the golden triangle. And so, what us calling this the golden triangle tonight? Why? Because this is where the gold is right here. Okay? This is where the gold is. And I'm going to tell you, if you can guess where this triangle is at, hey, I don't know what I'm going to give you, but I'm, I'm going to be proud of you if you can guess where this triangle is at. Okay? In the United States, you want to stay within this triangle right here. Okay? If you're looking for loads, you want to stay within this triangle right here, okay? Because in this triangle right here are income-producing states. Income-producing states, okay? So I want you to write in the comment section right now. What do you what what which states do you think is income-producing states, or which section of the country is the income-producing is the income-producing state? Because one of the things is. If you're if you're playing on, uh, uh, let's say like if uh, you have like my buddy or uh, Calvin Leaks, Calvin Leaks, I always talk about the the hey buddies. Now them hey buddies will call you up and say, hey buddy, <laughs> we got a load going from Chicago going to Wyoming for a thousand dollars and it's forty five thousand pounds. And you're like, uh, now a new person would be like, you know what, man, I might as well go ahead and take it. I can't find a load, and they'll take a load from Chicago. Or take a load from Ohio all the way to Wyoming and get stuck out there. You don't want to do that. Why? Because it's not the Golden Triangle. You're going to get out there, you're going to get stuck, you got to deadhead two million miles just to get back to somewhere with some civilization so that you can get a load. Because Wyoming, Montana is not making anything out there. When the last time you done bought something, people said, man, I'm moving to Montana, man, they got this big plant out there. 
Ain't nobody said that. When the last time somebody said, hey, man, we moving to Idaho, man. They got a huge plant out there, man. And they, hey, they got the jobs out there in, in uh, Idaho. It ain't no jobs in Idaho. <laughs> it ain't no jobs in Montana. And so you want to go to the places that's been producing, and if you don't know what state's been producing, hey, I want you to it, tell me which section in the comment section is, an income, produ is income producing states. I want you to uh, put that in the, uh, I want you to put that right there. And so, I'm going to give you just a few of them right here. So you got, you got Indiana, you got Illinois, how, do you see any on there? What people said? Uh, you know how to read those states. What? Uh, Illinois. Yep, Illinois. Kansas. Ohio. What else? What's that? Uh, uh, hey, Missouri. What? Yeah, Missouri. Is, is, is that Miss, that's Mississippi. How you, what's this, what is Missouri? Mm -hmm. Y'all know the top Missouri. And what else? Kentucky. Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, Ohio. You can even throw up Michigan in there. Yeah, Tennessee. Okay, and so all those, all those states right there, so you want to make that triangle from all the way up there, Michigan, coming down to Ohio, going across, over there by Texas. Now, when you go to Texas, you want to make sure, now, they do have freight in Texas. People say, man, there ain't no freight in Texas, man. It is freight in Texas. You can't listen to everybody, because everybody's going to say, man, there ain't no freight out there. It is freight out there. If it wasn't no freight out there, wouldn't no truck drivers be out there. Okay, it's freight out there. Now the freight not, may not be five dollars a mile, but you got to do what you can do till you can do better. Can I get one? Hello. So, <laughs> and so you got to do what you. And, and so going over to uh, going from uh, Michigan coming down by Texas, Oklahoma. Sometimes there, Oklahoma is kind of iffy. You know what I'm saying? But you you can ride through Oklahoma to get to Texas. And then come back over, okay, because there's usually some stuff that's going on in the south, especially if you're doing flatbed or step deck. There's always going to be something that's going on right here in the south. Um, and you can take that back over and come up through Georgia. You know, something. Georgia is kind of iffy. Georgia is kind of iffy. Now, the top half of Georgia, oh, that's that's fine from, like, uh, Jackson or Macon, Georgia, going up. That uh, That's a good area. And then coming back up, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, but those those main states right there, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, um, um, Michigan, those areas right there, those are income producing states and you want to stay right there in those states. You don't want to, you don't have to stay right there, but guess what? If you find something, if you, uh, if you're coming out of that area, if you're trying to go to that area, guess what? More than nine times out of ten, you're going to find a route. Now, if you're in Nebraska, <laughs> If you're in Nebraska trying to do something, guess what? You may find yourself uh, out of luck because it's hard to get something out of uh, Nebraska unless you're hauling some soybeans, okay? So, um, and so, relationships can do more, relationships can do more than a load board can, and you have to make sure that when you're doing, uh, when you're doing, uh, when you're doing relationships, Chris, dude, no. So you have to make sure that when you're doing, um, when you have, uh, when you have those relationships, you have to utilize those relationships. Now, I've I've heard of different people who have relationships who completely destroy relationships because they think that the agents are out to get them. I've heard of people that that was calling for a loan and they said, "Man, you just post the loan," and they go up there and up, blah, 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 blah. can't believe you, boo, boo, boo. you know you, boo, boo, boo. and they cussing the agent out and stuff like that. Well, you might, you might go ahead and just go ahead and throw the number away because you're not gonna get to work with them ever again. You see what I'm saying, man? It is over ten thousand drivers over here at Landstar, and with you being one one out of ten thousand, you don't know who done called, and you don't know who he done got in touch with right right when he posted the load. You see what I'm saying? You don't know who, you don't know that. But guess what? It's over a thousand agents over here. There's plenty of freight all over the place. So you don't have to get mad at one agent. I can take five or ten agents right now and keep me busy right now. Five to 
tell agents can keep you busy right now, especially if you're going to the same place. Like if you go pick up in Indiana, go over to Texas, pick something up, guess what? And then from Texas, you get something over here to Georgia, okay? There's always, man, you can always find something. Texas going to Georgia, Texas going to Alabama, get something uh, from Georgia, going back up to Ohio somewhere, you know, and there's always something going to Ohio from Georgia. You can get something going over, go over to India, and you can make that triangle just like that right there. Keep on running, but you cannot let you cannot let um, um, discouragement and intimidation and fear and all that stuff like that uh, weigh you down. Because if you let that weigh you down, and you get to the point where man, ain't, it ain't no lows out here, man. Everybody just pulling my chain, man. It ain't nothing but a whole bunch of jive turkeys. Guess what? You are gonna end up, and you you out, you gonna be down the dumps. And you're not going to be able to find no load, okay, because you done gave up, okay? So build a relationship. Uh, um, now let's talk about how we build these relationships. A lot of people, they think they're building relationships, and they're not building relationships. They just call them, well, I called them. They said they ain't had nothing. Okay, what else did you ask them? That's all. Okay, you can't you can't build a relationship like that. If I was calling somebody, I would say, hey, how you doing today, sir? Or ma'am. Or uh, let's say Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you doing today, Jenny? Uh, she's like, hey, Larry, I'm good. Now, Jenny is from the South, okay? Now, check this out right here. This is a particular conversation that I had with, um, it was another lady's name, but I'm going to just say, I'm going to say her name was Jenny, okay? And she was country as all country. And I always tell her about it, too. Girl, you're so country. But anyway, I called Jenny, and Jenny was, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, how you doing? I said, where you from? I said, because you sound like you're from down south. Side. Well, we're from Tennessee. And I was like, oh, okay, I live in Georgia. And so, you know, we just have a small, small talk. And I said, hey, look, I see that you had a load going from, uh, going from Savannah, going to Indiana. Uh, is that load still available? Ah, oh, you know what, Larry? It's not. I just got rid of it. I said, oh, man, that's okay. So, um, uh, do you usually have this load every week? No, I don't have this particular load every week or every day. Uh, but I do have things that's coming from Savannah every week. I said, is it the same thing? No, it's not the same thing, but I pull out of Savannah every week. And I have about I have about uh, 20 loads that I pull out of Savannah every week, and it's usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I have 20 loads on Monday, 20 loads on uh, Wednesday, 20 loads on Friday. I said, oh, is that right? And it, are they always going to Indiana? No, they're not always going to Indiana. They go all over the place, but this particular place, um, they usually go from Indiana, they go to uh, Ohio, that's where they mainly go, Indiana, Ohio. So guess what? Right there, say, oh, well, you know what? You know what? Next time you have one of those, do y'all have a list of something that y'all email out? No, we don't have a list, not like that, but the next time I get one of these loads, Larry, I'm going to give you a call because you're so nice. And I said, you know what? I really do appreciate it, Jenny. <laughs> and so from that point on, guess what? She called me when she got a load. I was somewhere else, couldn't even pick up the load. And guess what happened? I said, you know what, Jenny, thank you for calling me anyway. I thought she called me back about two days later. I wasn't able to get the load, but guess what? She called me back, and guess what? While, while she called me back, I was able to, uh, I was at, I had to deny, deny the load call. I was way somewhere else. Well, guess what? I said, you got anything anywhere else? Ah, oh, we got something coming out of Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. I said, well, <laughs> I'm not going to Phoenix no time soon. But uh, if you got anything that comes out of any, anywhere else, you just call and let me know. Well, guess what? Before she could even call me, about three days later, I called in and just checked in with her. Hey, Jenny, how you doing? She said, I'm doing fine, Larry. How you doing? I said, I'm good. Just want to know how the freight going right now. Well, guess what? Freight can be down for everybody else, but you can have a one consistent, you can have one consistent um, uh, load or one particular industry Let's say like the car industry. Let's say everything else may be down, but the car industry is, let's say it's like up and it's, it's, it's the one that's just steady going, steady going. Or everything else may be down, but the oil field is steady going, steady going. Or, or any other commodity, it may be just steady going, steady going. Well, guess what? You take that right there, and you can take that certain commodity right there, link up with that agent, and continuously run stuff for them throughout that season or throughout the... Um, uh, yeah, throughout that season or those uh, months that they're, you know, running whatever they're running, okay? So, uh, build those relation relationships, hook up with other people, not just agents, but hook up with other drivers, too. And you can make a network. Okay, my next thing is this right here. I'm going to tell you how I got to the point 
where I never, I, I hardly ever had to use the board because, how you spell friends? Is that how you spell friends? F R or E? No, it's at, uh, yeah. Friends. My own dad. Huh? My own dad. <laughs> okay, friends. Yeah. So, friends, how many of us have them? Friends, the ones you can't depend on. Let you. <laughs> yeah, so, friends, man, let me tell you something. Friends, when you make a friend over here, let me tell you something. A friend goes a long way. Let me tell you why. Because you got. You got Earl over here. You got Amy, Mitch, um, Terrence, and you got Vonda <laughs> and Chris. Okay. Now, Earl, Amy, Mitch, Tony, Vonda, and Chris. Now, Earl just got here. Okay. So Earl only has one contact. Okay. Amy. She been here five years, and guess what? She she got a whole bunch of contacts, right? So we gonna say she got like forty different contacts, okay? Mitch, he got about ten contacts. Tony, he has about let's say fourteen contacts. Vonda, she been here two years. She like to run the load board a lot, so she really ain't made relationships like she's supposed to. So she got about three real contacts that she really called on all the time. Chris, Chris has about four contacts, okay? Now, now I done made friends with all of these people right here. How many, now, they all got contacts. I've been here for a year, hadn't made one single contact. But guess what, I just became a friend with Earl, okay, or Ed. <laughs> And so guess what? Now I got a contact. That's and then I'm with Amy. Amy been here five years. That's all she do. She don't even look at the load board no more. She just got 40 contacts that she just called all the time. And guess what? She's now my friend. So I got 41. And the same thing with these people right here. So I got 40, 50, uh, 54, 57, uh, 61, 60. I got 62 agents right now. That's like real agents. Real contacts, they ain't even got to hit the load board no more. You see what I'm saying? I don't even have to hit the load board no more. And guess what we doing for each other now? So you got me, L Boogie, okay? Now, L Boogie, I don't, I, now, because I'm just the relationship guru, and I'm just building relationships everywhere I go, guess what I do? Now, within a period of four months, I done amassed 25 relationships, okay? So these people are... No longer am I calling them. They're calling me, and they're keeping me busy. Guess what? And when I don't have the loads, when I don't have, when when I can't move the loads, guess what I do? My network right here. I said I can't move it, but I got Earl, Amy, Mitch, Tony, Vonda, Chris. Won't you call them? They're reputable. I know they're gonna get it there on time. Their truck never breaks down, or 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 whatever. You know, sometimes your truck breaks down or whatever. But you know, they're reputable. You know, they have class and everything like that. So guess what, they're gonna call them. Same thing with me. I done had so many agents call them, hey, did you know Earl told me to call you and said that you'll get the load in? Where you at, do you want, you, you want this load right here? Amy, Mitch, all these people done call and say, hey, you want this load? Yeah, I'll take this load, okay? So you can do that right there. Also, now, that's, what, that's for the friends and stuff right there. Um. Always make sure you make you a friend, some friends, to where you can do this thing the right way. Okay? Um, so, let's, this is, let's say this. Do that, hey, boy, that look like, that look like the U.S. right there. <laughs> okay? So, we're going to say this right here is the southeast region. This is the south. That's the 
South. Oh no, this is uh, this is Southwest. That's the West Coast, Northeast, Midwest, and East Coast. Okay, and uh. Hold on. And this right here is the no zone. Don't go there. <laughs> Do not go there. All right, how many people still with me right now? And let me know if this is good to you. Is this good to you? Let me know if it's good. How many people we got on there right now, Chris? 47. 47. 46. Is this good? Is this good, everybody? I want to let, let me know if this is good. Okay, check this out. So, one thing that you can do is go get you one of those uh, maps. Um, you gonna get you one of the maps. You can get an atlas or whatever, and watch this. This is what you're gonna do right here, because you call people and you ask them, "Hey, where do I, where do you have a load at today, or, or where do your loads usually come from?" So I'm calling Jim today, okay? So today I'm calling Jim. Hey Jim, I see that you got a load going from that you going that going from Texas to Ohio. Um, uh, yeah, I only got this load this just this one time right here. Oh, you do? Okay, where, you, where do you usually have freight coming from? Well, you usually have freight coming out of the southeast, and I got freight coming out of the south. That's where, that's where my uh, usual people are. Okay, well, where, do you, where does it usually go to? Oh, man, it goes all over. But where, what's, your, what's your, is it like a concentrated place? Is it like the Midwest? Does it go to the West Coast? Or where, where does it usually go to? Yeah, well, you know, it usually just goes to the Midwest. I said, okay, thank you. I really appreciate that. You know what? You know what, Jim? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a call when I uh, when I go uh, when I, whenever I need a load or whatever. So guess what? So now I got Jim right here. You want me to check? Jim code is we're gonna say C C C. Okay. So Jim code is C C C. So if I know right here, I'm gonna in my big map that I got, I'm gonna write in a or you can go get you one of these things right here. It's just right on there and put South or Southeast in there, or go get you a notebook and write in there. You know, on your lines or whatever you got, boom. And we say this page right here is south, southeast, and you put CCC right there. And you put the number right beside it. And you put Jim's name right there beside it. And so when you call Jim, guess what? Um, when you call Jim, I automatically know that Jim got some stuff in the south, the southeast, and I'm going to keep his name right there. Okay? Now, I want, you to see, I want you to see something. Keep it right there. Don't move the camera. Okay? Keep it right there. Bring it over this way, son. So to your computer? Yeah, right there, right there. All right, keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Yeah, just keep it like that. Now watch. I'm, hold on, just stay right there. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show him something. Okay, bet you. Okay. You see this right here? Now this thing right here, it comes to about right here with papers in it. These are all, I keep all of my papers. These are all the loads I've done since I've been at Landstar, okay? For two, for over two years, okay? All of these right here. Let me tell you what's so special about that. I'm gonna tell you what's so special about that. Okay, we got that example right there. What's so special about keeping all of your bill of ladies is while you're keeping all your bill of ladies, guess what? On the bill of ladies, guess you got the transportation manager, and also you have you have the number, you got the address and everything like that. And um, also I like to print off my rate cons too. So all of my rate cons, they got the agent on there, they got the number, they got the after hours number and everything like that. So that's what you want to do. You want to be able to keep that right there. So all of that that I have right here, you know, you want me to tell you what that is? Like what Cardi B said, money, money. All I want to see is the money. So all this right here is the what? Money. Put it in the comment section. Money. All of this right here is money. So I can go out right now and just give this to somebody and say, here, just look through all of my rate cons, look through all that, all the agents that you need to know, and say, hey, look, I see that you had a load coming out of, 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 uh, see you had a load coming out of Savannah going to Kansas. Hey, do you have that load again? Or was that just a one-time thing? 
Or do you usually have loads coming out of the air? Well, you know what? I don't need to usually have that load. I was just covering that load for somebody else, and they were brokering the load. So what I'm doing now is just uh, doing something else. So, uh, and so you can build relationships like that right there, too, and just go back through all of your rate cons. And once you go back through all your rate cons, guess what? Now you can, um, uh, all of that right there is just money, okay? So pick, pick that up. Okay. All righty. So, okay, we almost finished. Okay. So, I had a question also. Someone asked me a question. How, to, uh, how far in advance should you search for a load? Okay. How far in advance should you search for a load? Okay, I'm gonna show you this right here. Um, that says hourly. Can y'all read that? I know you can't. <laughs> but it says hourly and weekly. Okay, hourly and weekly. And the reason why I put that up there because you know if if you could give me a word or whatever, if I had one word. I have a lot of stuff in my phone that's just written down like one word. It may be like, uh, like if I think about, uh, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Uh, if I say that right there, I already know that means fuel, fuel surcharge. And I can speak on fuel surcharge because I already have a story. I already have something that I can share about fuel surcharge within that right there. So, uh, hourly. Okay, so. Uh, the question was, how far in advance should I search for a load? You can search for a load. You can search for a load six months from that. If they don't put the load up there, you can search for that load however you want to. You can book a load six months from there if you want to. Okay. So you can book a load six months from now. But if you decide to book a load six months from now, guess what? You got to make sure that you keep that load. Uh, that you keep that. You know, you keep it up to date. I booked the load one time a month in advance. And it was a load going from, it was a load going from uh, uh, Alabama, going up to Indiana. It was a, uh, it was a, uh, a load going from Alabama to Indiana. It was a, a GE load. Yeah, it was a GE load. So um, make sure you keep the camera straight. You got it. You good? We yes, almost sir. finished. All right. You said that a few minutes ago. Huh? You said that a few minutes ago. Yeah, I, I hadn't finished my what I was talking about. Well, we're about to finish though. In a little bit. I, I promise you, you're gonna be in bed by nine o'clock. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what, what was I talking about? Okay. Yeah. So, have now you don't have to book a load a week in advance if you don't want to. But I will tell you, there are pros and cons to booking loads like this right here. Like I had a buddy who was over here. He would he he booked loads every day, okay. So he because he wanted to be home, what he'll do he'll book a load, uh, and he'll get on the load board, right here, twelve o'clock to about five o'clock p.m. Twelve o'clock noon to about five o'clock p.m. He'll be looking for loads to take for the night, okay, because he want to take the load come back, okay. This dude has taken so many high paying loads because he waits till the last minute. Because, I mean, that's what he wanted to do. Uh, he waits till the last minute and wait for that big load and they end up paying like some ridiculous number like uh, like $3,500 or something or $4,000 going from Atlanta to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, paying like uh, uh, some crazy number to go like a short amount, of, a short distance. Okay. Fix the Okay. So, and then also you can have, uh, uh, you can look for a load, you know, every couple of days or whatever. And then I know some people, I used to book loads like this right here. I book loads because I try to make sure that all my loads are booked. So I have something booked for Monday and it drops off Tuesday. And then I pick up something else Tuesday, it drops off Wednesday. Pick up something else Wednesday. Drop off Thursday. Pick up something else Thursday. Drop off Friday. And then I pick up something Friday. Take me over the weekend. 
and drops off money. And usually during that time right there, I try to find like a home time, somewhere to go in home right there. So you can have all these loads booked. Boom, 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 boom. And guess what? Yes, yes, you have your loads booked. But guess what? You're not gonna get the you're not gonna get the highest price, the highest rate of sale for those loads because guess what? It's not last minute. You see what I'm saying? It's not the end of the month. It, they're not trying to hurry up and push the load out, and they're not trying to wrap up a quarter. Guess what? That you just went on ahead and booked this load. But guess what? And so now you're secure in the loads that you have. You know it's a lock on there. You got these loads there. Boom. And, and, and that's a lock right there. So you got the, you got you got all the loads. They're lock and key. But guess what happens? This is good. This is good. Guess what happens right here? That load cancels. So guess what you got to do now? You got to cancel that load and that load. Oh, uh, are they going to be mad? Yeah, they're going to be ticked off. Want me to tell you why? Because now they got to find somebody else. And they probably got to push that load up. They got to push that load up through the uh, through uh, through the roof just to, just to get somebody to remove that load. But in order to have good customer service, you want me to tell you what you can do? That's why it's good to have a good network of people. So if, let's say like if this load right here, if it cancels, you can go and you can go... You can uh, call one of them, uh, them buddies that I had down there. You can call one of your friends <laughs> and say, "Hey, look, man, my load just canceled. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, leave a bad, a bad taste in the agent's mouth. So what I want to do is see if you can cover, can you cover this load. Are you booked? Can you cover this load? Are you booked for this load? Are you booked for the weekend? Some people may say yeah, and sometimes you're gonna get to the point to where you can't just you can't book the load. You just need to go ahead and call the agent." Um, you can't find nobody to cover load. You go ahead and call the agent. Hey, look, this load right here done canceled on me. I wanted to take the load, but it, or you know what? Or then sometimes they may say, you know what? Let me see what what we can work out. Because a lot of times when you have good relationships with people, and you have good agents, good agents they already know that something is gonna something may happen, but they're willing to work with you. Okay, so even if if you have an agent that's willing to work with you, hey, work with them. So. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to book it hourly, whether you want to book, book it daily, weekly, weekly, monthly, or whatever. That is totally up to you. Okay. So, um, so now, everybody get your pins out. Everybody, how many people we got on there? Give me a thumbs up. If you liking the material, if you liking the material that I'm telling you. So to some of y'all that already know this, it's probably going to be elementary. But for some people that, that may not know this, guess what? Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. So are, are you ready? How many people are they ready? 52. Are you ready? Huh? 52 people. All right, 52 people. Is everybody ready? Okay. Okay. All right, we get ready to finish here in a minute. We get ready to come to a close. And uh, I need everyone to follow after me. Yeah, and uh, I need. <laughs> and the reason why I did that because somebody said I was finishing up like a preacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, buddy, here we go. Here we go. All right. So let me go ahead and drop some of these agents down here. And and first of all, before I do that, let me tell you, my number one agent in the world, my number one agency in the world, you know what I'm about to spell. That's the number one agency in the world right there to me. To me, it is. G-A-D. Okay, and so um, and also, if you want to get in touch with me, ask me some questions, or if you feel like, if, or if you want to do an interview with me, and we can do interviews. I like to do interviews with people. If you want to do an interview, I want you to reach out to me at Catherine Logistics at Gmail. Dot com. So if you want to do an interview, you want me to interview you um, about your land store experience, about becoming an owner-operator or a BCO or whatever, 
uh, I want you to email me at CatherineLogistics at gmail.com, okay? Also, if you're thinking about coming to Landstar, uh, if you're thinking about coming to Landstar, what I want you to do, uh, for those of you that didn't get that, go ahead and take a screenshot of it. Make sure you got the camera right. So those of you thinking about coming to Landstar and you want to become an independent owner-operator, call them now. Call them, I mean, not now, but call them tomorrow. Call them ASAP, okay? If you're thinking about coming to Landstar and you want to become an independent owner-operator with Landstar, make sure you give GAD a call, okay? Or, you know, some, uh, you know it's, it's GAD or the Crossing Agency, okay? And so that and this number right here is just for recruiting. So if you want to go, if you want to, uh, if you want to do that, 844-899-7919. So get a screen. You can go on now. You can do a screenshot right now. If you want to do an interview with me, you can do that. Okay. So fix the camera. Look at the camera. Look. Okay. All right, so that's that. So now, now, let me give you some of these agents. Now, these are the agents right here. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I didn't usually have any problems book, booking loads, but these agents right here, these are the agents right here that old buddy talked about, and I'm telling you right now, if you build a relationship with them, you're going to find yourself in a good place. Okay, number one, C, H, W, R, K, D, I, N, N, J, C, B, Now these are ones right here that I call reputable agents. You know, and, um, and of course, GAD. Now, if you're a team, if you're a team, uh, look on the look on the. Um, you, all you gotta do is when it comes to uh, search and loads and stuff like that, just look on there and you'll see. Just type in GAD, and once you type in GAD, the number will pop. The uh, the agency code, you know, it, it, a load may pop up. Uh, call that number that's on the load. Call the number that's on the load. GAD, if you're a team, this is where you want to be at right here, GAD. GAD is where you want to be at if you're a team, okay? And so check out all these agencies right here. Okay. My last thing. And it, <laughs> my last thing. Okay, I'm about to get off here. But a lot of you don't know, some of you, you may know, uh, some people hadn't been in corporate before. I hadn't been in corporate before, but, you know, just talking to people, I know that, I know, you know, certain things. Let me know if you know what that means. Or if you know what, if you know what this means. Boom, 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 boom. That's a thumb right there. That's a hand. Let me know if you know what that means. Put it in the comment section. Let me know if you know what that means right there. Q4. Or, better known as, it, when, we, when we were playing football, when it was fourth quarter, we all throw up the four. So, that means it's time to get down to business, baby. Yay, yay! So, Q4, fourth quarter. Get it, get it! <laughs> so, tomorrow, 
tomorrow, October, November, December. That's fourth quarter of the year, okay? October, November, December. That's the fourth quarter of the year, okay? During the fourth quarter of the year, you want me to tell you what they're trying to do? Ba 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 boo. 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 They're trying to get those sales up and they're trying to get merchandise or whatever it is. They're trying to get it out, okay? They're trying to make, they're trying to wrap up their numbers. You know, they're trying to get everything together. This is uh, usually one of your most busiest times of the year. Okay? Why? Let me know in the comment section. Why is this one of your most busiest times of the year? I'm going to let you know. It's holiday season. People are ordering like never before. People are ordering more stuff than they're going to order ever. People are ordering stuff online. You know, uh, I didn't, uh, this, this is not no fact or nothing, but I think we're headed to, for, uh, I'm going to throw this in there. I think we're headed for a recession again, to tell you the truth. I really think we're headed for a recession, you know. But anyway, uh, this, is, this, this is the busiest time of the year right here. People are buying more than they've ever bought before. Um, you know, they're ordering online. They're doing different things like that right there. So you want to make, don't do that. You want to make sure that you get you a piece of the action, okay? Get your agent, stick with the agent. Don't be going out and cussing out the agent just because they don't have a load for you. It's a, it's a thousand other agents out there that you can work with, okay? And then guess what? If you go ahead and build a relationship now, like I remember back in the, I remember when I first got here, when I first got here, uh, Toys R Us was still around. And you know Toys R Us will make a comeback. I just heard that the other day. They're gonna do something, they're about to start selling something. But anyway, I had got here and they said, hey, there's a particular agent, and the agent was, boom, CAP. The CAP used to do Toys R Us, okay? Want me to tell you what I did? I called them in July. They said, you know what, call us back in, call us back in, um, uh, call us back in, like October or November. That's when we really start cranking it up. Okay? Want me to tell you when I called them back? July. Okay? And then she said, guess what? Uh, hey, I want you to call me back in September, October. That's when we get things cranking up. Want me to tell you what I did that next week? Called her back. I called her back every week. July, August, September, October. Want me to tell you what, what happened? When when that season kicked off, I was on that Toys R Us account. And I moved. I wasn't on there the whole time, but I moved some stuff. I was on there, and guess what? She knew me by name. She They had the Toys R Us account, and guess what? They also had PetSmart account. Okay? So, with all of those right there, you know, I use my relationships. I use my relationships, and she kept telling me we don't have a load. You know, I didn't get mad at her. You know what I'm saying? But she put me on. She put me on the loads, man. When I ain't even had no load. And so guess what? When it was time, I had to take a load. She was like, "Larry, I really need this load. Take it. all right. I'll take it for you." Because she done took. I done took ten loads for her. She done looked out for me, and I done took these loads for her. And so now. She doing. She was doing. Um, she uh, you know, she did what she had to do. So, but that's all for right now. Um, hold on for a minute. Let me see. You said what? Yeah, it was gonna be thirty minutes, but um, let me turn this around. Huh? <laughs> all right. So, um, let me get right here. So, did everybody like that? That live? Everybody like that? Trucking Justin, what's going on, man? My main man, what's crack lacking? What's going on, man? What's going on? I appreciate everybody who got on here tonight. Um, let me see if, if we got any uh, questions that I can go over. I don't want to keep it on here all night. Uh-oh, Mario, hey, just Mario is up in the camp. 
And uh, he said that FedEx account is always booming. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to listen. That FedEx account is always booming. Okay? So, let me tell you what happens when you get on the FedEx account. So, you see that right there? What we're gonna do, we're gonna put a we're gonna put a happy little tree right here. And some happy little grass right here. Happy little grass right here. And then we're gonna put you right there. See that right there? Money, 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 money! When you get on that fat ass account, come back to Swift. Oh my God! <laughs> now, nah, brother, we can't come back to Swift. All right, um, let's see. Um, um, ba ba da. Water manager, okay. All right, so, yeah. Uh, Trucking Justice said, GAD has some high-paying freight. They rarely lowball. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, in an economy like this right here, when you have an economy like this right here, um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, all of you probably know this by now, but to be honest with you, we're in... We're in a place right now to where the economy is not that great when it comes to trucking. So if the economy is not that great when it comes to trucking or when it comes to rates and things like that right there, you got to do what you got to do. You got to you got to um, you got to put the time in. You got you, you, you. I mean, you don't you don't want to take nothing for no pennies. You know what I'm saying? But where you was taking stuff for four dollars and five dollars a mile and three dollars a mile, you may have to drive it down to. 275 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you you may not get the highest rates out there because they're not putting out the highest rates. So you gotta do what you gotta do right now to be able to get where you gotta get to. And so uh this is like anything else, you know, rates they fluctuate, they go up and down, um, just like the housing market, just like anything else. And um and so since since the rates go up and down in the housing market and the trucking industry, the rates go up and down and everything like that. Just make sure that you, you know, you govern yourselves accordingly. Go govern yourselves accordingly so that you can uh, make sure that you have some longevity in the game so that you don't um, find yourself up the creek without a paddle. Okay? So, uh, Trucking Justin, I will call you tomorrow. Um... Okay, cool. Tall T, Georgia Peach. What's going on? Victor Newman. Newton. T. Crawford. Santos. All right, man. I'm going to let y'all go, man. Uh, I really appreciate everybody uh, uh, logging in right here. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe. I need some more subscribers, man. You know, I think I got about 4,500 subscribers right now. So I need some more subscribers. Also... I got some stuff on the lookout. Hey, I've been doing consulting and stuff like that. That's that's what I love to do. I love talking on the phone to people. I love I love being able to teach people how to become an owner operator. I love being able to teach people that. And so that's why I tell people. Um, that's why I tell. That's why I was telling everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, um, uh, just hit me up at Catherine. Logistics at gmail dot com or you see that Cotron Logistics at gmail dot com. Do a snap snapshot of it or whatever. But um also um on Instagram at the trucking consultant. So if you look if you're looking for me on IG, it's the the Trucking 
consultant. And so, if you if you want to uh, if you want to learn more information, uh, you can check me out on Instagram because I be on Instagram straight flexing. And <laughs> and so you can hit me up uh, copy on logistics at gmail.com or hit me up on IG because it goes down in the DM. Um, you can follow me, the trucking consultant. Also, uh, some more people that you can follow on IG. Um, Just Mario. So y'all follow him on Just Mario. Also, follow his channel also. Okay? Follow his channel also. Also, um, um, Trucking Justin. Trucking Trucking Justin. I think it's T R U C K I N Justin. I don't think it got a G on there. So follow Truck Trucking Justin also. Um and also when you're here, I want you to follow everybody that you can follow. Um Hold up. Hold up now. Somebody gonna give me fifty dollars. Georgia Peach. Georgia Peach, you got a question? I've never done that before. Well, look at that. Look at God. Jesus well. So, uh, I don't know what. The, oh. I've never done that before. I'm going to have to look that up. $50. Let me see. Super chat. Live chat. Okay, uh, <laughs> um, Georgia Peach, uh, I want you to, oh, okay, that was for me talking to your husband, okay, I, I, yeah, I appreciate that. Man, I like to keep people in the game and put people in the game at the same time. I like to put people in the game. I like to share this game with people, you know what I'm saying? I like to share this info with people, and, um, hey, if you want to. Hey, you can give $50 too. It's 41 people on here right now. If 41 people gave me $50, that would be how much? How much is 40 times 50? We have copies. $900. Hold on. No, that's not $900. How much is... <laughs> 40 times 50. Okay, Google. Oh, this dude. Okay, Google. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, man, I appreciate all the love. I appreciate everybody checking me out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And guess what? Until next time, this is your boy L Boogie with the hoodie. You know I'm blessing the Lord, highly favored, excited about Jesus, excited about the Word of God. My cup is running over now. Still want some more. How about you? Holla at your boy when you see me in these streets. Holla at your boy. Make sure y'all hit me up on the, um, make sure y'all hit, hit me up on uh in my uh emails send me an email yeah send me an email Catherine logistics c o t h r a n is that that's backwards or something in it yeah let me see there it is right there so yeah hit me up make sure you take a screenshot of that that's just mario truck and justin and follow me the trucking consultant on Instagram. Also, if you got any information, if you got any questions, if you want to do an interview with me, if I've already did an interview with you and you want to do a follow-up interview, hit me up, send me a message. If you got any questions or anything like that right there, guess what? Um, hit me up. Um, yeah, hit me up. And I appreciate all the love, everybody. Holla.